local woman could face a new trial this year in the death of her husband's two-year-old son back in 2003. Tonight we're going in-depth on the case of Patricia Brown, a case that's now 20 years old and shows that the path to justice can be a long, winding road with many twists and turns that often ends up back in court. January 2003, little Dietrich Brown, after suffering from seizures, was rushed to JFK Memorial and then to Loma Linda, where he later died. His stepsister, Jasmine Nix, showed me his final resting place in 2015. This brings back a lot of memories. Memories of her family being in mourning. I loved that little kid. <laughs> he was... He was my little brother. I didn't see he was my stepbrother. And memories of her mom, Patricia Brown, and her stepdad, Derek Brown, being charged with murder. I would think after 20 years, the district attorney's office is probably looking very seriously at this to decide what to do about it. I sat down with defense attorney and president and CEO of California Desert Trial Academy, John Patrick Dolan, who's not involved in the case. Sometimes they don't have a good answer. The Browns were in jail most of that year. In October, a judge ruled there wasn't enough evidence against them. News Channel 3 was there when they were released from jail. I just thank God that he gave us the strength to go through, and uh, he vindicated us. You're back with your family tonight. What do you, you plan? Just to go home and be with my kids. Turns out the fight was far from over. Ten years later, this grand jury indictment led to them being charged again. That's one of the issues. The pre-charge delay, the 10 years is a major problem. The trial didn't happen until 2016. Derek Brown was acquitted with the judge saying there was insufficient evidence against him. The case against Patricia Brown, however, went to the jury and resulted in a conviction for second degree murder. Her family never wavered in their support. My family's been destroyed over this. It's a terrible injustice. Then in 2018, the judge in the case agreed. Judge John Evans setting aside the verdict, writing, the weight of the evidence supports the conclusion that Dietrich was not a normal, healthy child long before he came into the care of the Browns. And that is a, a bold move on the part of any judge. Dolan also pointing to the difficulty of proving the cause of death in a case like this one. There is only a question of the cause of death, and that's the big issue in that, this and many other cases. What caused this death? Because there can be issues that cause a child to die, have nothing to do with the parents or the uh, caregivers. The DA had argued Dietrich had been abused, and that led to his death. Nix and the rest of Patricia Brown's family have always contended it just didn't happen that way. When he first came to us, I have to say he wasn't, he, he wasn't really normal. Um, like I told you, the only thing he really knew how to do was, was walk on his own. Now, 20 years after his death, the pursuit for justice continues. For the DA, that means the prosecution of Patricia Brown. For the Brown family, that means continuing their fight to clear her name. All these years later, it's still left to be settled in a court of law. In 2018, when she was released from jail, News Channel 3 asked Brown about this long journey. A roller coaster, just, it's been rough. But when I'm taken away from my family, it, it just got a little bit harder. But by the grace of God, I, I made it. And now that journey has continued for nearly another five years since then, after the judge granted Brown a new trial. Both the Brown family and the district attorney declined our request for new interviews with that retrial still on the horizon. Right now, a trial date is set for late July after being postponed in January. Stay with News Channel 3 for any new developments on this case. We have covered every step of the way since 2003.